The Miami Hurricanes hit the court at the Verizon Center for the first time Wednesday afternoon in preparation for Thursday night's Sweet 16 matchup with Marquette. Unlike last weekend when a trip fire alarm forced the arena in Austin to be evacuated, Wednesday's practice went uninterrupted with players appearing loose and relaxed, but also determined to get a win. We got to go out there with a lot of physicality and a lot of intensity and uh, stick to the game plan. I think if we do that, we have a good shot. We just, uh, just try to play together to stay poised and just go out there and just have fun. I think that's the most important thing. Jim Laranega's squad took part in a number of exercises and shooting drills throughout the 15-minute session. Hey, two lines, ball screens, let's go! However, one Miami player was not on the court, center Reggie Johnson. The team's leading rebounder did not make the trip following knee surgery earlier this week. In his absence, Miami will need big man Julian Gamble and freshman Tony and Jakiri to step up their game. I, I just got to feel every shoe. And, uh, you know, we really miss them you know, as a team. And uh, you know, I really miss them because I played alongside with him. He's a great team. You know, he really pushes me. Uh, that means everybody's going to have to step up. We're going to have to do it by committee. It's not going to be one guy. We have to really focus on really being in the interior because I feel like with him being out, that'll give teams a little more confidence that they can really get to us in the inside. The Hurricanes will face off against a Marquette team that narrowly defeated Davidson and Butler in the opening rounds last weekend. The Golden Eagles are led by guard Vander Blue, who comes in averaging 15 points per game and will be key for the Miami defense. We just got to be real physical and keep them out the lane. That's a big thing. They like shooting layups, and we saw a shot chart of, of how many layups they shot against Butler and how many shot, uh, layups they shot against Davis. And so keeping them out the lane and rebounding is going to be huge for us. At Wednesday's shoot-around, Miami players said they didn't plan to do anything different to prepare for Thursday night's game. Throughout the season, Coach Larry Negan has told his team to just enjoy the moment. I think it helps us all relax, you know, this being our first time in the tournament and uh, him obviously coming here and this is where he made history. Uh, it's just it's very relaxing, comforting, and it's easy, very, very easy to play with when play ball. The Miami team has never made it to the Elite Eight, and only once before have they made it to the Sweet 16. So in an area already rich in history, come Thursday night, the Canes will be looking to make some of their own. Inside the U.com, Washington, D.C.